Well, good day, tubes. I can't believe how much of an adult I am. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we've been doing some running around this morning. Ready? Listen to this. Ready? <laughs> NASCAR! There you go. Alright, so uh, we got a bit of a hose here, as you can sort of kind of sort of see, big three-quarter inch mother hose. And uh, I was telling Buddy over there, the hose guy, what my intentions, whoa, drop my belt, got belts too, by the way. Uh, <laughs> telling him my intentions, what it was for this hose, and he's like, ah, I don't really like that idea too much. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know, but I can't find, like, copper pipe big enough. For my compressor dewey so he's like well the thing is the heat will dry out the rubber and eventually the rubber will break through and then you'll have a leak so I'm like well it's probably gonna take a long time by this kind of hose this is pretty thick stuff you know but he didn't seem to like it too much and I'm not crazy about it either but she's gonna have to be uh, temporaries until uh, we can uh, find some three-quarter inch copper with three-quarter inch uh, uh, compression fittings, which I can't seem to find anywhere. Sort of like what I did, uh... uh what did I do with it? Hmm... It's here somewhere. My, uh, my other fit and dewy thingy, but, uh... Anyways, uh... It's not a big deal, but... Anyways, uh... So I got him to make me up, a, a hose here. Um... See, hose? Big hose. So we've got one of these on each end. Now, these aren't swivel. He said swivel ones have um, a rubber o-ring in them too that'll wear out real fast on you too for something like this I'm doing with it. So he's like, we'll give you two solid ends like this. So it's going to probably be fun, but <clears throat> we'll get the one screwed in, tightened down, and then he gave me uh, one of these fellers which have no fitting thingy in it. And it's just basically like the swivel dewey there, right? But it's not, you know, like the other ways. So that should work, should work good. And uh, as you can see, I got the motor mounted. It's not tightened down yet, but we got belts this morning. I kind of wanted to get her done and get a size for the belt. So ends up being 75 inch, believe it or not. And uh, I got adjustment yet, you know, if it's too small, then whoops, and then we can bring her, well, could bring her back if I need two hands. But anyways, uh, she's working in progress. She's working in progress. And uh, I actually found a pretty cool app. Let me use, well, it's not an app. It's an, it was an online conversion thing, actually. Let me yoink her up here and uh, show ya. So I found this thing. I looked up uh, V-belt length calculator. And uh, you just put in your pulley center distance. So from, uh, from this center to that center, you measure that. Okay, so you put that in. Diameter of large pulley, so you go from from this one over to this one. And same thing for this one, from this one over to this one. You put all that in, you say calculate, and it tells you length of E-belt. It was 75.21 or something stupid like that, so I got 75. So, let's maybe try to mount those up, just see how they look. And uh, we'll know roughly where this thing's going to have to sit. We can crank her down and then lace those things on there that should be good so here's these uh, belts I got they're apparently re reinforced with Kevlar I don't know if it really is or not but these are the only ones they had at the old TSC <laughs> figures but uh, 5 8 inch 2 by 78 man it looks small little boys I'm telling you holy holy Oh. Yeah, so there's one on. That'd be nice if I had some kind of adjuster in Dewey to, uh, you know, like a screw mount thing or something that would pull her tight for me, but I guess what I'm just going to have to do is Pull her back just a hair, tighten her down, and 
crank them on. I'm probably going to need to adjust it after. Anyways, that's got to be a lot more tighter than that. So, let's see if I can get this fella off of here again. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's get the clothes out of the way for a sec. We're not really ready for it yet. And, uh, Feel horrible, I forget the freaking name of the guy that sent me this link last night there and he found actually the manually thing for this exact pump. And uh, this thing apparently I didn't really realize it but it has one of those unloader valves built right into it. So I'm like, sweet! <laughs> so I don't know how that works yet or or what but um, we'll figure that out when we get uh, going on it here I guess. But uh, anyways, uh, let's... Pull this back. Maybe about there. We'll try that. And we are going to need for a half inch. Yes, half inch. Half inch. Got here somewhere. Where the heck did I find my halves? Oh man, gotta find my halves. All right. I think we should have our lots tight there. It's probably going to be a nightmare trying to get these things on, but. Let's just crank these fellers down here. The V-belts to me are weird for some reason. You think you get it tight, it gets on, and I guess you get it right down in that groove, and then it's, oh crap, and then it seems like it's loosened up again for some reason. But um, what I'll do is just crank these on first, and we'll try fitting this one here. I feel like that doesn't look like it's going to fit at all, does it? Oh, I had it right in the groove, though. Okay. Oh, it's not bad. Now i got to get it to the other side, though. <laughs> Okay, so there's that one, and I'm actually pretty happy with that tension. Now these will probably have to be adjusted again after we uh, after we uh, run her for a bit. Yeah, I gotta find, I guess, some three quarter inch of that flexi copper pipe. I'll show you a bit of half inch after here, which I got some left of, but I want three quarter because I don't want it to uh, be reduced, right? I want her to be uh, full freaking right out. Whereas actually, this hose I'm using now is three quarter hose, yes, but then it's got that little dewy on the inside of the hydraulic thing, which Reduces it down to just a little bit over a half inch we measured, so I'm like, ah, there we go, reducing again. So I'll have to keep an eye out for some, might have to get it online or something, I don't know. Some three quarter inch, some three quarter inch uh, flexi copper pipe and uh, compression fitting thingies. That's what I used on the other one, that worked good. Okay, let's just belt do it here. Okay. Ah. Holy crap! Why is this one being so? Sure, it's a. So it might be easier if I did it this way. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, something's not right here. Did some knob put a freaking belt in one way and one's a different size? I bet you they did. Picks 5 eighths times 75. Picks 5 eighths by 75. Well, isn't that interesting? It's the exact same belt, but there's definitely a difference there. Unless... My motor isn't straight. I bet you that's what it is. 
Well, crap. Looks pretty darn good. Now, that's definitely a problem. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, we'll have to straighten that out, I guess. Well, interestingly enough, I don't really know what's going on here. This is really weird. If you turn it around, they've both seen to tension up pretty good. But then this one down here is kind of floppy. Move it around, this one gets floppy. It's floppy. I don't know. Something, something's wonky here somewhere, but I don't know what. It's actually getting worse. It's definitely a lot tighter on the left side here. Maybe there's something with the pulley here. I don't know. Something with this pulley here. Maybe. I don't know. That's a bit weird. Alright, so we got the wire back in. We got her all mounted back inside and stuff here. We did a rock. Um, we didn't make it too bad, but um, I gave her a quick little test fire. And I don't know because maybe the belts are a little bit too tight right now. Probably the size of the pulley compared to the motor. It uh, was on my 30 amp circuit and it kept popping it within about three seconds. <laughs> it would just start to take off. It's really slow starting. So I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to have to go smaller with a smaller pulley. Which will turn the pump slower. But uh, anyways, I thought maybe just for fun here I'd slap in a... 40 amp circuit breaker 220 here and fire it up here and see what happens see if it runs more than three seconds and uh, You know see if we can feel a bit of air pouring out the, the, the port here, right? Now mind you I haven't got the hose filled up. I'm not really ready for that yet. Just more like wanting to get stuff set up here because if this thing's This is supposed to be the unloader or something here how that works yet. I don't know but um, It must I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. But anyways, uh, let's hit the go button here <laughs> Maybe that's gonna be all right. I don't know. It didn't seem to like the 30. I put. Uh, let's see. This thing says amps 22. Now I don't know if that's per line. It's just drawing. I guess so much to get that first little started up, right? He says 22 amps per per line. I guess so. I got it on a 40. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd probably be a lot better if I changed uh, pulleys here, but um, I don't have belts for driving that right now, right? So I'm kind of sort of tied up, tied with that right now. But I mean, worst comes to worst, I could change the pulleys. You know, make one. I got a lot smaller ones, right? So even going down, maybe one size might work. I might still be able to fit that one on with those belts. With that much adjustment, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that. I don't want to go a whole lot smaller, but because I know the smaller you go on the motor, uh, the easier it will be for it to turn. So, but it, and then slower your compressor pump goes. But I don't know. Maybe that's going almost too fast. I don't know. I don't have a RPM gaugey thing, right? So. Maybe I'll mess around just for a few minutes. I'll switch pulleys here. Put that little smaller one on. Maybe I can get enough. Uh, enough. Uh, ooh. That's maybe not going to work because I'd have to pull her back more. Have a smaller belt. Hmm. That's maybe not going to work. Man. 
I need a smaller belt. But anyways, uh, let me run that through my calculator thing here, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what they're telling us. So there we go. That works pretty good. It says 72 inch belt now. So I got a 75. That's three inches. I don't think I can get that much out of it. <laughs> out of the adjustment. But kind of looks to me like we're needing to go with a smaller pulley. I just don't really like the way that's starting up. It's just too slow. <laughs> Yes, I think we better go smaller. So, anyways, I guess we need more belts. Oh man! All right, we got that next size smaller pulley on, and I went and grabbed some more belts. Uh, we're down to a 72. Uh, hope this works because that's about all they uh, really had. Oh, they go 72, 70, 68, blah blah blah. You know, like they don't go betweens. So it's like really. Uh, how did I do this before? Like this I think, first. Wow. It's weird. Oh, that's ever tight. Something ain't right here, boys. What I do wrong now? All right, so hopefully we got this thing now. Oh man! Talk about being a bit of a nuisance today. I'll tell ya. <laughs> Pretty good tension there. Yeah, I don't know. Not crazy on that, but I'm gonna send a try with the one belt here and see what the difference is. So we're going from a what was this one? Six and three quarter inch pulley to a five and a quarter. So we're losing an inch. Doesn't seem like much compared to comparing these together. Yes it is. Okay, so uh, here we go, contact. Interesting. That's amazing, sort of how worn out motors got already. Hmm. Throw on this other belt here and see if it makes any difference at all. Um, guess we gotta try to skip the Deweys here. Ow! That was the thumb. Oh man, she's definitely not loose. We gotta try to straighten this belt around here. There's that one gone. Okay, let me grab this iron one here. <sighs> Love belts. <laughs> Not. Okay. Man, why does that seem so short? What on earth is going on here with their belts? I looked at them at the store, and they were both the same number. PIX69B, 69B, 5L720. Both exactly the same. Oh, crap. I feel like I were trying to get those off again. Well. Let's try her. Get her sort of pushed back in here and we'll hook this big hose on and uh, go from there I guess see how uh, she'll pressurize up for us that's about all I can do so anyways uh, let me get that fired up here and uh, we'll try her out 
All right, so this looks kind of rinky dinky mousey mouse, sneaky mouse, but I think it's going to work. So basically, I got the uh, fella in here, and this is our huh, was our uh, flex coupler. So I guess I got to put that one in first. In here. Well, that's kind of defeating the purpose of having my Dewey there to. Oh, we'll do it that way, maybe. Okay. So I guess I could either go that way or. that way. It's actually less restriction if I go around this way again. It's actually a little more better. Okay, so we'll tighten this into the compressor line. I got my Dewey here. And I guess after we're uh, finished here, we're good for a little test run. I better grab another Dewey here. is on the gauge here and we'll see how fast we can pump her up okay just double checking everything hose is on that's on that's tight belts are on I guess that's all tight bolts are all tight those bolts are all tight okay here we go
unloading. It's unloading out of here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Zoomed right in. At least I hope it's going to eventually stop peeing. Man, I would have thought it would have done peeing by now. Huh. Interesting. Something, something should have stopped by now, you would have thought. It's basically leaking my air back out again. Interesting. So something's not right here somewhere. Can't be having her doing that. <sighs> not one thing, boys. It's 90, right? It's not one thing. It's 90. So if I turn this back on, she's going to start... Yeah. So what is going on here now, then? Where will that air be coming out of? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I'm supposed to run like one of these lines into my thing here or something, but that wouldn't that would do the same thing. Interesting. I'm gonna have to do a bit more research on that, but it's a bit warm there. I don't think I want to touch the metal too bad, but uh there's an awful lot of air that blows on that, so that's good. Now, I wouldn't mind letting this bleed out, I guess. Seeing how she turns back on now. Well, I pulled the air filter off because it seems to, for some reason, be coming out this dewy here to this line, whatever's in here, and then back up. And there's like a little valvey thing and looks like inside of there. Uh, of course, you can't see quite in there, but... Uh, and uh, it's peeing out of there, but as soon as it starts up again, it seems to shut that off. So it almost seems to me like there's a valve or something not closing right in there. Uh, let me turn on a flashlight on my phone here. And <laughs> you can kind of see like that valvey thing in there, right? Where that uh, line kind of goes down into there. So I'm wondering if something's not right closing in there. And I primed her up real good. Like I had her up to uh, like the PSI here. <laughs> So, I was thinking maybe it's got to be onto a real high PSI and then it'll shut that off, but it didn't seem to make a difference. I had to turn the uh, the tap off here again, but you can hear. Let me just open her a bit. She's coming out here. And then she'll come out here, too. So something's not right somewhere, and I don't know what it is. Man, oh man, I don't really want to be tearing this right apart. And plus, we got another problem too. Uh, I think we're gonna have to play with some more pulleys yet. Oh man, because I got a pretty hot motor here, 178 degrees. Yeah, that's actually getting really warm now. Holy, it's warming up more as it sits there. It's actually hotter than the compressor is. It's only 164, and this what was this? 181, 82. That's even getting warmer. So, it looks like that's running way too hot. I think I may be asking a little bit too much of her boys. Oh man. But, um, I don't know what else to say, what else to do, like... <sighs> Bigger motor again? Like, really? Holy crap, I don't know. I don't know. 
But, uh, and then we got still problem with this too. If there's something in that little valve that's leaking inside of that thing or something, or I don't think there's anything in here. This is just like a cooling thing. And uh, how this actually really works here, I don't uh, really know because basically what's going to happen, like I'm pretty sure this is supposed to have an unloader in here somewhere. You know, and then I'd run. Actually, where did my unloader thing go? It's right here. I'm thinking that this thing should be in line here. And then I'd run my Dewey from here back to here, and it would unload all it from all up here, right? And it would keep it pressurized to here. I think that's what is supposed to happen here. I don't. I don't really know. Like, this is supposed to be some kind of unloader built in here, but it doesn't seem to be working, or something's not right. But, um, yeah, and then motor-wise, ooh, don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that very much. So, uh, really don't have to restrict her down to that. Oh, man, that's freaking getting really small now. I don't know if I can get anything bigger, too. I'll have to maybe check her online or something from some kind of one-way air, air valve, three-quarter inch or something. But anyways, uh, maybe I'll pop the belts off here again if I can. And um, that line's not bad there. It's a bit warm there still. Well, that that seems good anyway, that part of it. But holy. Uh, anyways, I guess first things is get the motor all squared up and stuff and get her running a bit cooler. I think I'm going to have to go maybe down to the smallest one I got here. I don't know. Like I got two more to try. I might as well see if I can get uh, this one on here. But I bet you the belts won't fit then freaking figures, eh, doesn't it? Oh, man. Anyways, I'll get this uh, changed here and see how we're looking. All right, well, I switched down to the very smallest pulley I got. I can't go any more than that. So, uh, these aren't wicked super tight, but I think there should be all right. Uh, give her a try fire anyways, but I just got the tank draining back out back into this motor here just to try to kind of cool her down a bit, but I'll tell you, it's still hot enough to probably cook your eggs in her. Holy frig, I don't know. Something, something I ain't done right here, boys. Driving her, driving her too much with not a big enough motor, I guess. But hey, who's to, who's to know until you really go at her, right? So probably should have. Well, this thing's apparently rated from a five to a seven and a half horse motor on it. So I don't know. I, I threw a five on her, but she just ain't too happy. So I don't know what to say after this. Take this right off. Put what I had it on just for now, or what? Because I ain't got a big enough motor, I don't think, to drive her, but. She's pretty much dry here, so we're going to hook everything again here. Uh, down there. Get this off of here. It's still bleeding a little bit there. Because technically, I still got two problems here. I haven't really tried this yet with the smallest pulley I got yet, mind you, but I can't really go any smaller than that. And uh, this thing's still leaking air back through. I don't know what the deal is with that. So, very, very interesting. Very interesting. So, I guess that's close enough. We'll try her here again. A lot slower! Okay, well, we ran her up from zero. Uh, the old compressor and motor was 5 minutes 33 seconds. This one was 4 minutes 37 seconds. So we saved just a little bit under a minute. Not bad but not great <laughs> now what was I expecting though I don't know but now what do we got for heat wise here 145 so it's sort of cooled down a bit still pretty darn warm 145 and this was 174 so that's a little better um, I guess that's all right. Uh, what I want to do is um, just hook up a line going outside as if I'm like sandblasting or something and just let her run for a while, see uh, what kind of temperatures I get then.
well, 146. I don't know, boys. I'm just not happy. Not happy with what I done here. Not happy with what I done. And they don't have a bigger motor than this at Princess Auto. Five horse at the 3400 RPM. They have uh, like a 10 or 11 horse at like 1740 RPM. So I'm like, no, I don't think I want that. So, boy, I, I don't know. I'm not just not happy with this. Ah. Well, at least after all that running, the wire's not warm, which is surprising. <laughs> they hampered that thing's draw, and they're not warm at all, so that's good. I'm happy about that. And usually you can feel it starting to warm up and stuff, but it's good. It seems fine, so I guess that part of it's good, the amperage draw. But I guess we just don't have a big enough motor for the uh, uh, size of the uh, what we're trying to run. And uh, she just not got enough poop, so... What do you do, eh? What do you do? So, I'm kind of thinking before that the other setup I had with that little pump and the other motor on here um, was better for holding pressure because it was, remember when I did the, it was holding and it was a lot less. I'm pretty sure the other one was holding around 100. Um, steady all the time so I'm not liking that right off the bat plus I bet you that's heated up a bit after it stopped um, oh big time <laughs> well one that's up and down who knows eh I'm gonna say 152 ish that's a heck of a lot hotter than I think that other motor ran, so you know what? I'm not at all happy. And then this thing having that unloading problem. Oh my frig, now what do I got to run this all the way down to Princess Auto again? Take her back? Like, seriously? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I don't know, boys. I don't know. <sighs> what to do now? Well... I'm not happy with this setup, I'll just let you know that. Um, I'm going to probably end up taking this apart and putting my old back together the way she was. And uh, I know you're probably thinking, holy friggin' crap, really? Seriously? You're crazy? Yeah, well, you know, i got to have her working the, right, I like, the way I like her. So this I'm not happy with. So kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, you got to live and learn, I guess. So I don't know. I just It's probably fine, but just... I don't know, I'm not crazy with how small I had to put the pulley, you know, we had lots of speed before, it probably would have been pretty decent recovery, but I was just going to cook this motor in no time, I'm thinking, if it's not done it yet, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, I don't know, not happy, I'm not happy, this wire's pretty cool here, oh, yeah, I think it's good that way, amperage draw and stuff, but man, she's making that motor work. I just don't like that too much. So I guess we got a nice compressor and a nice hose and <laughs> everything made up for it just to try it out and it doesn't work right the way I like it. So for freak's sake, eh? But uh, like I say, how do you know until you try her? Which is, you know, kind of crappy, but uh, <sighs> that's, I guess, the way this is going to work. I just don't have a big enough motor. That's the conclusion, I guess. But I mean, Princess Auto is about the only place I know where to get stuff like that. And uh, I just can't uh, seem to see anything much bigger than that there, the five horse. So, seven and a half probably would have even been a lot better, but uh, I don't know, whatever. What do you do? Well, if you believe it or not, we are back to... Well, I guess we're back to where we were, boys. <laughs> Which, you know, that's fine. I don't really know why I thought I needed to get another better air compressor. This one's actually really not that bad. But, uh... One of those things, you know, you see it down there and, oh, wait a minute, that might be better. And you end up doing it all like I did and really it's no better at all. If not worse. <laughs> now here I got a little leak somewhere. Somewhere. 
Like I got a small one over here, but actually this here, I wanted to uh, get this out of here. I'm gonna have to put in, uh, well, it's kind of nice to have the uh, pressure gauge right there, but I'm also reducing my output by quite a bit there, you know, from probably half inch down to quarter inch. This is all quarter inch piping, right? And then it's quarter inch, like this feller going into this thing, right? And then it necks up again, but that's definitely restriction there. So probably wouldn't be a, a bad idea. Well, actually, you know something? I could run, you know, it's the same deal again, I guess quarter inch. I'd rather have it half inch stuff all the way out to the, the air dryer at least here, you know, and then do whatever after that. So, uh, I mean, if I wanted to change everything, all my fittings and everything to go up to like a 3 8 fitting, holy man, and those fittings a piece, like one of these and 3 8 are like 18 bucks a piece. So it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to work. So, but you know, I'll, whatever she should she should work just the way she did before I guess anyways but uh, kind of an expensive experiment but uh, hey like I say you gotta live and learn well it's kind of you know s sort of you say upsetting kind of crappy that you know you go through all that and it doesn't work but like I say I didn't know I didn't know so should have just left her the way she was or just get a whole new compressor all together which might be a better idea if I'm really, you know, doing a lot of sandblasting, but... Oh, I've got dirt on me, I see. But for as much of sandblasting as I do, this feller should work fine. So, uh, oh well, what do you do? Good experiment, but now, what do I do with the stuff I bought? <laughs> do I take it back to Princess Auto and... They'll say, oh, did you use it? Oh, well, they're usually pretty good. They're taking stuff back, but I don't know. I guess motor-wise, I keep that motor maybe because actually it might be good on a pressure washer or something, right? So she might be decent enough to run that because I don't think there'd be quite as much load onto a pressure washer. But uh, the big pump, yeah, it didn't work. Need more more ponies, more power, more everything. So, I don't know. Then you're getting into the thing, well, is it going to run off the single phase stuff, right? So, man, oh, man, what do you what do? you do? What do you do? And compressor pump-wise, I don't know what to do with that thing. I guess, you know, we could probably try to take it back and see if they'll take it back. But I kind of doubt they'll take it back. But I don't know. They're pretty good there, really. But, uh... I guess you could always fib to them like probably everybody else does too, but you know, I kind of like to be kind of honest. But oh, you hear the brakes here? Nasty, eh? <laughs> Let's try it again here. That sounds metal to metal to me. <laughs> so it's a good thing we got our air back because we're going to probably need that to. Uh, be changing that stuff and uh, barlings and stuff and uh, oh Dilly's out riding his bike and uh... <laughs> so oh he's got the big mittens on and everything oh Dilly but anyways um, I'm gonna hit her home I guess that's enough of this fooling around for today oh man she's minus three out holy snapping that's cold but anyways, yeah, you know, a little bummed. I guess that didn't work, and uh, I can't really go any smaller pulley. There's no point messing around anymore with that, so. But, um, I'm sure if we had a bigger motor, maybe even a 10 horse motor, running that um, big pulley we had on the motor, that would probably make some pretty decent air. That would probably be pretty good. But uh, then you're what kind of power consumption is that needing, you know? I probably have to have that on like a 50 amp breaker or something. Oh, there he is. Probably freezing cold. Oh, he shut it off or it quit. Might have quit on him. But uh, anyways, so yeah, I guess that's it for today. You know, I'm gonna hit her home and stuff. So look at how freaking dark it is now getting, how early it's getting dark now. What time is it now? Uh, 4.57, the sun's like pretty much gone. <laughs> oh, free man. And uh, it's so depressing this time of year. I hate this time of year. It's just like dark. But anyways, what do you do? So anyways, have a good day. I don't know what the frick we're doing tomorrow. Maybe I'll start. I got to actually start working on this truck probably. 
Got to get that going. I need brakes on my truck pretty bad. You know, those are sounding pretty uh, pretty uh, metal to metal there. So we'll get uh, probably starting on this side. It sounds like this side's the worstest, uh, worstest side on the driver's side. So we'll get that going, I guess, maybe tomorrow. I don't know how much of that I'm going to film because it's probably going to be a freaking nightmare coming apart. But uh, I'll try to maybe do something up for you on that and... Uh, you know get something something up for it but uh, once i get my hands all grimy and stuff i usually don't go at the cameras too much so we'll maybe just do like a little quickie update video thingies of uh, you know this is where we are now blah 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 this is where we are now blah 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 this is where we are now and there's the tire back on <laughs> kind of thing so but uh yeah that's it for today again uh you guys have a good night thanks for watching today and uh we'll talk at you tomorrow how's the riding today good cold it's not like a few months ago, it was like blistering hot, eh? What are you gonna do today? I'm gonna spin my tires on the ice. Oh, sweet. Give her. <laughs> Crazy nut. Holy, wrecking my grass. You gonna wreck my grass again? No. Give it. <laughs>